What's up boys? My name's Joel from Rumi Official. I am very jet lagged. Just came back from the Ju US. The Jewess. <laughs> from the Jewess. <laughs> I'm here with my editor Jonas. In the flesh this time, unfortunately. <laughs> and my other editor, Martin. Welcome. Hi, man. Yeah. Yay. Martin actually edited a video you guys didn't know he edited, which was the women's humor video. It was very hurtful because I saw a bunch of comments like, oh, I'm only here for the God tier editing. And I was like, but he wasn't. Yeah, exactly. It's not God to read it. Anyone can do it again. <laughs> anyway, recently I've gotten a lot of comments on a specific topic and I thought that I should explain myself. Explain my big crimes. I've seen a lot of comments about how I used to dislike reaction videos and now I make some reaction slash commentary videos myself. Ooh, big drama, guys. Hypocrite. <laughs> exactly. So here's a couple of comments. Rumi, I just hate people who just take people's content and use it as it's... as... It, oh, as... <laughs> <laughs> it's them, they wrote it wrong as its own. Future Rumi, let's react. <laughs> All right. uh, last year, this pisses me off that Rumi gets mad at reactions. Also Rumi, my review. <laughs> <laughs> so the video I talk about reaction stuff is called This Pisses Me Off and it came out in July 2017 back when I was all about the big music projects. Covers. It covers all of the good <laughs> stuff. Working super hard in every video for like weeks at a time. So let's have a look at the video. Everyone thinks says that oh my god Joel hates re reactions and now he makes reactions. That's embarrassing. Well I get the feeling that you're slightly pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. So I cut out all the pieces where I talk about about reaction videos in general. There was some like light roasting about just stupid stuff in the video, but these are the points that everyone keeps bringing up. That's why I'll talk after. Wait, so you're just gonna show the entirety of my video and then talk after? What is the point of anyone going to my channel if you're gonna show the whole video without you talking on your channel? Dude. Okay, so a lot of people keep saying that I'm doing the same thing, that I'm like, whatever, just looking at videos. But I think there's a major difference between what I'm saying in this video and what we've been doing. And it is that he basically just played my video inside of this video and then he was gonna talk afterwards while we do running commentary we pause the videos it's very very different it's very very difficult we pause it's several not, moments it's not pausing that's difficult yes, okay but like it's different because if you break a video up with your commentary that adds something then you know you're being pulled out of what it would be like to watch the video the original video it's not the same experience it's got like all of the different additional information and if what you add is bad the video will be bad while the the thing I'm critiquing in this video is basically that he just plays my video and then what happens then guys do you guys remember do you watch this video let me show you let me show you what happens I am glad I did not speak throughout the video because I enjoyed every single millisecond of his voice uh, I mean I get that he's complimenting me here but what is the point of the video even being on your channel if you're just gonna show the exact same thing that's on my channel but yeah guys my favorite was when he did Bruce Springsteen yeah comment down below which was your favorite one and I shall see you guys in my next video but until then then don't forget to stay beautiful, smile, and be happy. Wow, that was literally everything he said in the video. So basically, <laughs> he's like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna talk until after the video. And then <laughs> and then he says, oh, wow, that was good, guys. My favorite was Bruce Springsteen. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> what we're doing is obviously very different from that. We don't just show another video. I have nothing against Vlad. I've talked to him after this. I hope he's not doing videos like that anymore. You know, he seems like a good guy or whatever. Compared to you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly, I'm a bad guy. So when I do commentary videos on my channels or reaction videos, if you want to call it reactions, I think what I do should be called commentary because I do a lot of talking about the stuff while a reaction video would be, oh, this is my reaction. I'm going to look at this thing now. I'm in a unique position to talk about the voices video stuff because obviously I was one of the first people to do it. And I know and it's obvious that a lot of the people who keep making stuff in that format are directly inspired by what I did. So I feel like I can bring something to you guys by talking about it and I can probably bring some insight about it you know be smart be a smart boy i'm so jet lagged guys this is the worst i didn't know being tired made, made you lie as well lie you're not smart Oh yeah. <laughs> this is the kind of thing that makes me hate how YouTube works nowadays. Whoever can make the most and longest videos win. And that means that the people who rely on other people's content will actually do better than the people who create original content. There's literally no incentive for me as a YouTuber to create a fully original video. If I just cared about money, I would just be reacting to other people's content all day. I could make like 18 videos a day or something, just hire an editor, film a bunch of stuff, and I would be making so much more money than I do now. I'm not even 
hating on the reactors, they're doing the smart thing. But like the fact that YouTube does nothing to separate the people who make original content from the people who show off other people's original content is just crazy. Like you should boost it in some way, right? The people who put down weeks on a single video or whatever compared to the people who then show off the same video and just add like, I like this video in the end. Okay, so this is the main thing and I can see why this might get confusing. Am I just about the money now, Jonas? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you see his expensive beanie? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> of course. The thing is that my priorities have changed since I made that video. First off, after making music content for so long, I wanted to make some content where I could really connect with you guys on a more personal level. I remember just looking at the comment sections back when I was making more music stuff and it would always be stuff talking about how good or bad I was at singing or how good or bad the idea for the video was. It was all just like people judging in different ways. Either good or bad, you know, a lot of people were supportive, but it was like not very interesting. I didn't feel like there was a genuine connection. It was just like, I sang a bit and then people were like, you sang good or he sang bad. It's just a bunch of reviews basically. Yeah, now I to go into the comment section and the comments make me laugh. You guys just post all these like in jokes and you, you riff on jokes you guys made in the videos. It feels like we really have a community in a whole different way. And that was something that I really wanted to do when I started making content that was a bit different. Secondly, I wanted to make some music that I'm really proud of. I rarely speak about this, but when I was making music while doing YouTube, it was always like on a huge time crunch all the time like oh I gotta get the song ready for this thing and if I missed a week of uploading I would really stress out I'd never really get to work on to get it to where I really wanted it to be or make it as good as possible when I'm doing this content though it is some of the funniest and best content I think I've ever posted and also I have time and more importantly than time musical inspiration I'm not tired of music once I've made these videos I can go and really work on music and be inspired in a whole different way so I'm really excited to finish these songs up I have some really really good ones and and to release those to you guys later. Here's a short clip of one of the songs I'm working on. Another thing is that YouTube has changed a lot in recent years, so it doesn't make any sense to be taking weeks to make one video anymore. Honestly, I don't mind too much because those huge videos were so stressful and I was basically shooting for a full week for, for example, the singing experiment videos. I was filming a full week Monday to Sunday and then I was supposed to give it to Jonas and he worked on it. Some days I just couldn't get myself to do it properly. I would just sit in front of my computer trying to script. Nothing would come. I didn't get any breaks. I didn't have any weekends. I worked like 10, 12 hour days every day it was just hell <laughs> and then when we released those videos it was a total gamble if it was gonna do well when you're releasing one video every week one video every two weeks it's so stressful because you basically don't know if you're gonna get paid minimum wage a given month or not it's a nightmare the YouTube platform now it's not made for content that takes weeks to make because ads pay exactly the same for a view on a video that takes 20 minutes to make or a video that takes two weeks to make a single ad will still pay like whatever 10 million 10 million <laughs> 10 million per view. I think the last full-on animated video we made was called My Old Cringy Songs. It took about a month to make. It came out on Christmas Eve because we got delayed. So Christmas Eve is when you celebrate Christmas in Sweden. And my family was waiting for me to, to like come and like open gifts and have Christmas dinner. And I couldn't because I was finishing up the video. I was just so stressful. Jonas wouldn't f help. Uh, <laughs> that's like six months ago. To this point, that video has like 600,000 views. The videos we make now, which are way quicker to make, get something like 300, 400,000 views right now, and they'll probably tick up over time too. But they only take a few days to make. I'd rather put that extra time that I would be putting on making those super ambitious videos on making super ambitious music instead, and eventually super ambitious music videos. I think some people might interpret what you're saying now as if like, yeah, it's just, you know, simpler and quicker and whatever. Yeah. But also when we first decided to try making a quicker video, yeah. we sent it around to all of our friends and yeah. all of them said, this is way funnier than the other video. They really did and I feel the same way too. I rewatch these videos way more. I watch my I watch myself <laughs> way more now than I used to because I think that these yeah. are genuinely more fun. Just watching myself talk in that old video is like you can kind of sense the stress in me. I'm talking like this all the time in the old videos and I'm like all sweaty and also um, I don't know if you guys noticed but I was like a little bit rounder back then. Do you guys watch that now when you're looking at it? I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I was eating a lot because I was so stressed too. Anyway, I'm not saying you have to agree with me that reaction videos are fine. I think the way we make reaction videos or what I would say is commentary videos is pretty interesting, but you're free to think that they're evil. <laughs> you can comment that in the comments if you want. 
Okay guys, these are my editor Martin and Jonas. We also have a third editor, Ben Cook. Hi guys! Who edits some of the base edits and assembly edits. Thank you, Ben. You're amazing. These boys help me make the videos and... Uh... And we're also cousins, which is why we're both fat. <laughs> oh, <that's true. laughs> they are cousins. No so one that knows that. You, you, you may also recognize them from Rumi and Friends. We used to have a, a cover band thing going on here on YouTube a little while back. So now I'm just rehiring them all as my <laughs> editors. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. And now we're gonna go uh, have some real human connection. <laughs> like I said in the other video. Let's go have some real human connection, guys. Yeah, that's hey. cool. Sounds good. Okay, let's go. Let's go. My bedroom's this way. Oh. Huge thanks to my top patrons, Christian Gerbelson, hashtag Vicky the Bully, Matthew Barzik, Keon Wong, hashtag Vicky for Prez, I guess. There's some kind of battle going on here. Uh, Coralie, Ali Engdahl, Batoon, Nina Fairvag. <laughs> this is my rent money, Captain Dramerica, and Swiftest Cat. Thank you guys so much.